and go to movies. <laughs> what is up, everybody? And welcome to the block party. I'm live on alertnav.com and uh, twitch.tv backslash alertnav live. I'm joined today, as you guys can tell, by the world's best cosplay 2016 award winner from San Diego Comic Con, Amy Oompa Oompa, or Amy Oompa Oompa. <laughs> Oompa Oompa. <laughs> it's an unbelievably perfect Oompa Loompa cosplay. I don't see it, but maybe the fans do. And it's very subtle. Bullshit. How do you not see it? She's orange <laughs> and has green hair. Like, what is not to see? It's her birthday tomorrow. I can't say that I see this. You guys can. You can absolutely say it. I think, <laughs> like, isn't that like a thing in a relationship? Like, you're supposed to be honest. And you gotta open. be honest. Yeah, do you get what you when Cam is wrong? You get Amy singing a strange song. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the webcam. I'm gonna I am a... not orange. I feel like every other color is accurate. Like those headphones look exactly like they do every week. Yeah, that yellow looks. The black is perfect. Like, like the Mega Man pillow in the background is blue. Like all the the rooster has a red thing on his this head. Is a like... head. This Whatever is it is, answer. man. Everything looks pretty much color corrected. <laughs> Look at her beautiful little. It's a face. very good cosplay. Yeah, it's She's like legit, dude. Just own it. Just love it. You got that. You got that new uh, uh, "Make America Great" uh, Trump face paint. <laughs> oh my god! I will cut you. <laughs> Two fifty at Walmart, dude. Stock up. Also joined by Jason and Tristan, who are not in cosplay. Well, actually, Tristan's trying to trying to. I'm do Superman. Things. Of the new Superman <laughs> costume. Like Whoa! Superman from it is right? Superman. No, it's just the lighting, dude. The camera lighting's off on his uh, on his cam. It makes him look like Superman. It's not really legit. It's pretty good. Um, dude, let's uh, let's jump right into what we've been up to this week because uh, a brand new game that we've been talking about for a while came out, and uh, hopefully you guys—I forgot to ask you earlier. Hopefully you guys had some time to check. Pokemon this out Go. Um, no, tell t Pokemon for the first Go. time in about nine weeks, we're not talking about Pokemon Go right out the gate, dude. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. talk about some Telltale Batman because I think it's more exciting. And, you know, we got Suicide Squad coming out, you know, tomorrow. It's already been around the world for reviewers and, and such. But, um, yeah, dude, it's coming out tomorrow. And we, the movie. Dude, Batman is in it. Batfleck is in it. So we got Telltale Batman. Episode 1 came out this week. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I, I know Tristan didn't play it on PC. Jason, though, might have had a... He, a I decided to go PS4 because I saw the PC was, like, kind of a disaster. Oh, you say to see and Batman I don't, does not succeed on the PC. Batman is terrible. Uh, and I've I've learned my lesson. I've been down yeah. this road enough that I'm just not going to play a Batman game on the PC. There's only one bad computer. And I don't like playing the Telltale <laughs> games on the PC. They're just not fun. That is true. So how was the experience so far, Ben uh, Tristan, with your Batman? Have you beaten the whole episode? Uh, no, I didn't get a chance to play the whole thing yet. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird experience for me because I like okay it, it feels like a telltale game they yeah. nailed that like but it's, it's just not, like a Batman skin over everything like they introduce these other things like that I've kind of seen in other telltale games like oh and when you do the grappling hook you have to aim your thing though I don't know if it just glitched on mine but you, you have to aim the circle inside another circle to and then you fire yeah but I've been outside the circle, and it still fired perfectly. I think what uh, happens, like, did you move it in the circle and then hit the button? No, like, I I ran out of time because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, and it still and, worked? And it still worked, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Well, because I, I thought mine was glitching because I'd get it in the circle, I'd hit the button, and then the circle would shoot across the screen. Right. Like, and I was like, oh, that's broken, but it's telltale. What do I expect? <laughs> and... Classic. It, the story wise like I'm kind of intrigued by like the back and forth that they did with Bruce Wayne and Batman yep. it's pretty cool I, I like that and everything with Alfred is cool do they revisit the is it like an origin story or do they start off from a point oh of... you better bet that they mention that Bruce Wayne lost his parents a million times they, that. They, they walk you they, they do that scene also in the Why? game I don't know if you saw it yet because it has Why? to happen in every Batman thing because you would know what know. happened. Who is, exactly. who is Batman? I've never heard of this character. Said no one ever. They don't. Like, I don't. Well, to be fair, I don't think they go. They don't retell the story of Batman at, at all. And I think this is a little bit of a different take on Batman than at least we're used to. Right. Like Vicky Vicky Vale was talking about. Like, oh, I'm surprised Bruce Wayne's come this far with. But like, I think she said about losing a parent and like 
Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. they mentioned it a bunch, and then there's also a scene where they kind of like show the thing we've seen a billion times already in our lives, but they do it in a way it's not like you don't have to spend 20 minutes getting back. It was back it was pretty quick. It was quick, painless, kind of cool. It was just like all right, it's over. I'm just sick of seeing it though. Yeah, absolutely. That was my thought that after sure it was gonna make it, once but... they first mentioned it. I was like, I don't want like I'm. Everyone knows Batman. Everyone knows Bruce Wayne. It's established already. You don't have to, like, you're not picking up new people into the like Batman mythology. People know their stuff of Batman. Yeah. And how many Batman movies have we gotten in the past twenty years? Just like lot. yeah, it was like throw us like ten years into Batman. Just let us know that it's Batman. Like yeah. this, you got with it. But it seems like this is kind of early on. Well, they the way they're like introducing these characters. It's as if Bruce Wayne or Batman is first meeting these characters. So I feel like Batman, like oh well, yeah, it. like yeah, they they definitely like well, Vicky Vale and uh, Carmen Falcone, Falcone is kind of like yeah. early on in the relationship. But and, then they they flip the script on a couple other characters also, that you they give them like a little bit of a different origin story. I don't want to spoil yeah. too much. But well, there's... like Catwoman isn't that from looking at the the codex in the back, back computer where you can they describe each character they don't even call her catwoman at this point they just call her a cat burglar uh, <laughs> yeah yeah it. exactly and you get a, you get a little bit more of that in this chapter also like of why she's in in the city and what she's doing but it's also kind of different a little bit and then you also meet an, another famous bad a villain who's totally different than you've ever seen him before which i thought was really cool so there's it took me about like I would say a good hour and ten minutes before I was like actually on board with this story. Harvey Dent kind of seemed like a meathead in the scenes I've seen him in so far. Dude, Harvey Dent is a total meathead in this. Like it's really strange. I, you know what? It's okay though. How about it's Gordon? No, Gordon is exactly as he's been in everything. Mustache, the whole nine yards. It's really strange. Yeah. <laughs> like he is. Alfred's a little except bit. Except for Gotham. Cool. Yeah, except for Gotham. Alfred. I don't love the this mustache. version of Alfred, but. Did they take anything from the Gotham TV series, like no, at all? That you notice, like seen. anything feel like it's like the TV style? Okay. No. Like even yeah. how this game starts, I like the like the intro thing where they show like Detective Comics and like the, the different Batman comics that they kind of show in the very beginning when they like before the whole game actually started. I kind of enjoyed that part, even though it had nothing to do with the game, but just visually, I liked it. Interesting, yeah, dude. I'm, the the visual style. Do you like the visual style? Uh, I mean, it's it's the Telltale visual style. Like, I could confuse it with any other Telltale game. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why they're not trying something different at this point. Like, like I felt early like on, I thought that they were noir. going to try something film noir. different. Yeah, they kind of yeah. teased, but it just feels yeah, like it looks like every other one. And I like, thought they had a good the opportunity. Characters look like the exact same characters from Game of Thrones. Yeah, they had a, a great opportunity to try to do something different, and they just totally didn't. It's just like they're reskinning everything. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, well, I also Somewhat. think the frame rate in this game is a little bonkers at some point. Like, definitely in the first, it took my eyes like a while to get used to it because that beginning is not running at thirty frames per second. There's like a scene where there's some smoke, and it's not, it's not like game breaking, but it's just like jarring that a game that looks like this that can also run on my phone is not running perfectly on the ps4 it's a little bit weird to me and they it still does the all even despite the engine upgrades it still does the classic telltale stuff where it's like stuttering in between like making yeah. decisions and stuff and things it's like, were moving kind of slow and i was like this can't happen in batman game batman games are like quick yeah fast. yeah and this slow things down. i don't think i've got to I've, I've hit that point where you're doing the detective stuff that they keep talking about yet i'm like about to get into that I so hope we get into that at some point i'm curious i know this thing's only supposed to be a couple hours long like two hours or something so, a lot of quick time events and like it's the same old shtick right but just we're hopefully getting a better story right yeah it's the same exact um telltale thing that we've been seeing for a long time so at this point it kind of seems like something you probably don't really need to invest your money in unless, unless you're like you a diehard just... batman fan if you're, I think if you're a diehard batman fan and you want to see a cool batman story i think this is actually it's kind of intriguing i'm I'm excited okay. to go back and finish it off and see where the rest of the stories go, but uh, yeah, if you're not a huge Batman fan, like then... for me, like I enjoy Batman. I'm like, oh, it's kind of cool. I, I like. I've read some Everyone of the comics, Batman. but <laughs> as you wear a Superman shirt, 
But uh, I don't really, <laughs> I'm not like a diehard fan or anything, so I probably wouldn't really care about this. Or... To jump into it right yeah, away. If, you, if yeah. you're not ready and not wanting to play a Telltale game right about now. Just hold off. Yeah, you might want to chill for a hot second. Because like, I, I like Telltale games and I like Batman, but I just don't really, yeah. Yeah, especially kind of like how you're describing it. It sort of seems I like mean, a, the I whole season seems will slow. probably be on sale at the holidays for like less than 10 bucks, I'd imagine. <laughs> Which is cool that they actually are saying that this is coming out before the holiday. Like, well, no, the, the no. I think you? they said one of the episodes is coming in 2017. I think the final what? episode is oh, really? early 2017. Oh. I'm pretty uh, sure. I thought the disc was speaking. getting released. I thought the disc yeah, had like. A well, they've done this before. Game of Thrones released the oh, disc yeah, before the last you episode. Was later. Out. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure that, that they're doing uh, the same. Yeah, thing. and I didn't buy it until that last episode was available for download. So I was like, I ain't touching that. Hell no! I want my whole story in one go. Yeah, because yeah, it's like something, if it's that kind of short, dude, you just want to pound it out. You don't yeah. want to do weeklies. So I I, yeah. I was I didn't like it in the beginning, and the more I played it, the more I liked it. And at, at the halfway point, I'm probably sitting around a four, because I'm really intrigued by the story. And dude, I, like I was actually going to throw that out there to you guys. Do you want to do one of these Telltales as like almost like a TV series? Like we would review it as like a, a game series we'd play each week. And then give it a rating for each episode. Dude, I've been uh -huh. saying my whole life they should be releasing these one a week at an hour a pop. Like I don't understand yeah. why they're they're totally. Oh shit! Yeah, duh, it's not coming. Fucking out really. themselves over by not releasing this game in ten different parts. One like, bing, who's bing, gonna bing, have? Bing. Who's gonna be the first person that has the balls to do that? I mean, someone uh. needs to well replace Telltale. Like you know, challenge them for their. Telltale yeah, should do it. Like, Telltale, like, QTs. people would applaud Telltale if they were like, we're going to do this every week. You guys come back every Thursday night at 7, dude. Get your Batman fix. Especially, so like, I, I haven't had a chance to try out this new crowd si situation either. Where, like, That's what I was just going to talk about. I can about, jump on yeah. Twitch and have everybody vote on it. I might try that this week. A new gimmick. Because it should not allow for two people. It should be three plus people. You know what I'm saying? Because you always want that odd man. You don't want yeah. to be even Steven. Like, you know... I pick yes, you pick no, and it just goes to me because I picked it first. Well, because it can go up to 500 people, though, right? I think it is. Yeah, crazy. that's what they were saying, but they said it's best at, like, 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it? Every single decision in the game? Because those things go rapid fire, dude. I'm not going to have time to look. I'm very curious if it just pops up a little overlay over the thing or not. I haven't watched anybody do it yet. But I think it's for the dialogue choices. I don't hmm. think it's for, like, uh, go left or go right. Okay, gotcha. The dialogue choices have felt inconsequential at this point. Like, I can either be Batman the dick or Batman the guy trying to, like, play him. Which is weird to me because I kind of know Batman is one way. He's always, like, Batman. Like, he just has this, like, same yeah, demeanor. Excellent. He's never, like, a total, like, I'll be your friend, Falcone. Let's shake hands. Like, that just doesn't seem... <laughs> Falcone, my boy! Did you get that, Tristan? Like, I felt like you're either... You can play Batman two ways despite right. the fact that there's four answers. Like, you're always, yeah. like, two of them are always the same. Right. Yeah. Well, early on in this game, I was, like... I kind of get a vibe of the first Michael Keaton Batman movie as far as, like, the story. As far as, like, they're introducing this Batman myth. Like, is he real or is he fiction and whatnot in He's the city of Gotham? It's like and Santa Claus. Just trying to, like, strike fear in the hearts of criminals. That's what he was trying to do and did. Um, but, yeah, I will, I'll see how it plays out, though. Yeah. Did you buy the season pass or are you doing an episode? I, I got the season pass, yeah. And that was that was fun on the store trying to find the single episode of that thing because it like jumps out season pass and you hit it and you got to go in there well, again. Season I pass. Typed in, then you got to dig deep and I'm like, oh, there it is, the 4 one. I typed in the search just Batman. Nope. Nothing came up. Nothing came well, up. Nope. Being, plenty of stuff came up, like, but it was like the animated stuff that you can buy. In the, the PlayStation stuff. 4 search bar is fucked because what was I trying yeah. to find the other night, dude? I was trying to find something. Heck, man. Oh yeah, Pac-Man uh, Championship Edition, hmm. and I'm like, dude, I type in Pac. This wasn't released though, was you, it? You couldn't even type in Pac-Man. Remember, oh, that's I put right. PAC, and they wouldn't give you an M. But then there dash. was something else later that you found that was Pac-Man, but it wouldn't let you search it. I typed in Championship, and Pac-Man came up. Yeah, it was weird. Oh, it was doing me on something too. I was trying to find DLC for something. I forgot what it was, but I couldn't. It wasn't searching it properly, so I couldn't. Yeah, that was last week. I wish I could remember what that was. Oh, it was Destiny. I couldn't find Destiny in there. Like what? it would find it would find Destiny, but I couldn't find the Destiny the expansion for the Taken King separately yeah. in that search mission. I had to go to Destiny and I had to go through the season pass. 
and then I go through the ex- like the ex- like the extended edition or whatever that is, and then I could finally find it on the bottom as its own separate thing. It's just I'm assuming that's something that's gonna get fixed. And fucking, 3. I fucking 9. applaud you for your Batman hunt because <laughs> that's not easy. I almost was like, you know what? At one point, I was like, I was like you know what? Screw it! Dude. I'm just gonna give him twenty five dollars because I don't want to waste any more time on this. Maybe and I was like, that's what? probably what their point. That was like... the whole point, and I was like, no, no. When no, I no. when I searched the first time and I just put Batman and I couldn't find it. I actually had to look online, like, did it really get released, or was there an issue on Xbox One that getting pushed back? So, but and then also, I... why is the season pass twenty five dollars the exact same price as if I buy it episodic, like if yeah, I buy each just... episode? That is unbelievably bullshit. Knock off a couple of bucks or something. Like, why do they not? You should get like at least twenty percent or fifteen percent off on that. That's Shit. ridiculous. Like, what's the like? Why would you do that then? Just the ease yeah. of delivery, dude. That's bullshit, dude. I think that's like common. Like we're we're grown. We're raised to know that if we buy one, we pay more money, and we buy them in bulk, we get cheaper. You know, can of soda, yeah. seventy five cents. And if I'm giving you your twenty five dollars, dude, you throw that in the bank. You're collecting interest while this thing, yeah. while these parts are coming out. You're making money on that yeah. investment. That's not cool. You don't Telltale. even need to release the rest of the episodes, and you got my twenty five bucks. Yeah, especially when your engine is still fifteen years old. Yeah, janky as shit. Just get a new engine. Like that, whoever's the tech director at the company should have a stern talking to at this point. And maybe yeah, it's because are... the game has to play on an iPhone too, right? Like, who mm. knows how much money they make on those iPhone ports? Mm. Probably a shit ton, dude. Yeah. So that could play into it. We never, we never discussed that side of things, dude. I guess I didn't, I didn't think about like how many people actually touch it on that device. And it makes sense because you, I see, actually, it's fucking crazy, dude. Because we were doing, a, I don't, I remember what we were doing. We were talking about Minecraft. And how much money that motherfucker's made. And we were looking at it, and the statistics were really high for mobile devices oh, yeah. that were purchased for that game, which blew my mind because I was like, I don't want to play Minecraft on my phone. That feels you like don't a You want to play spot. Minecraft, period. I've Just tried it on my phone. Software. It's terrible on my phone. Or an iPad, even. But those are really high, especially overseas. So maybe Telltale sees kind of similar statistics where they're like, shit, dude, iPhones, iPads, you know. Is the game know. cheaper on mobile? No, it's the same, same price, and it comes out like a little bit later, also. But I all you always see it when it kind of like a big one pops, like the Minecraft story mode. You'll see that thing rise up the charts for a couple of days when it releases. So yeah, that's I was just playing it and I was getting really annoyed at the visuals, and I was just like, this is not a PS4 game. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I paid five dollars for this. What the fuck? You know what I could have done with that five dollars? Yeah, a barbecue stupid. sandwich Jason, down the stupid. block. <laughs> yeah, I could have got a good barbecue sandwich. I know you could have, dude. You got a barbecue joint, dude. You got stubs. So, well, stubs is in Austin. No, it's not that good, but <laughs> oh, it wasn't. Oh, so all right. Yeah, it was mind. just. It was just like kind of cool to get that barbecue sauce from the store in real life. That's always <laughs> a fun thing. <laughs> hey, Amy, uh, have you had a chance to play anything this week? Anything new? I was uh trying to kind of go over things and seeing what I you've didn't... been up to this week. I didn't play anything new. No. You're gearing I... up for. Something. I am. Suicide Willy Wonka going. convention. <laughs> 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 if you were wise, you would not tease me. Oompa loompa. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I just was watching um, uh, Pokemon, the first one that was released in 2000. I don't know. There hasn't really been any games I wanted to play. I was playing Mad Max for a little while, and then... I just sort of stopped because I had like a really bad stomach flu and I got like really sick and was feverish and then I just didn't oh, want to life for a while. From the Ren Fair, yeah, dude. Oh, did you eat one of those turkeys things? Those big turkey legs? No, did it was eat? not the Ren Fair that got me sick. It was just. It was a turkey I... leg. I can tell by chat right now. <laughs> no, no, I thought she was going. Leg. I thought she was going a different direction with that conversation and she didn't. So I was like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I thought she was going a different direction. I thought she was gonna bring up my poop sitch. What? Well, now that you brought so, it up, I mean, like, you can't just say that. Well, what are you talking about? Yeah, let's get into this. No, there's nothing you to get You had to use an outhouse at the Ren Fair? No, he didn't have to go poop at all. We didn't eat any food at the fucking Ren Fair because he didn't want to shit his pants. That's where I thought she was going. Does the Ren Fair thank have you, real bathrooms? Or do they just go yeah, all out? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they have bathrooms. Kind of it's like, it's a so guy much monitoring fun. The holes. I have a lot of fun. There was, like, tons of little kids that wanted photos with me because I was all dressed up and make the... I had all this makeup on and like a cute little outfit and. What'd you dress up as? As a fawn. As a fawn. As a fawn. Amazing fawn, dude. Yeah, seriously, everyone was trying to take her picture. I thought they were trying to take my picture several times, but I was just no. They're I actually asking you to, to get out of the photo. There, <laughs> there was like a Sir. film crew too that were like, "Can we record you for just a little bit? Because we're making a, a commercial." And I was like, "Oh my god, yeah, that's cool." 
Well, that's so that cool. Was just, that that was just fun. But um, I just wasn't hydrated, and I think I got heat sick because it was like six hours in the sun, and I had two beers, and just dude, water was fucking expensive, and I got I think dehydrated, and then like that night, and then the next day, and then on Monday, I was just like, oh, life sucks. Dude, I do I think- know how you guys are with water in crazy heat. Like you would rather like dehydrate than spend four dollars on water and die, because I did, did that in New York. I remember Amy was dying of thirst. Some guy was trying to sell us water for like three bucks, and Chad was like, "No, I'm not going to pay that." We almost got a fight in the guy in the cart in Central Park <laughs> over a three dollar water. Because you like and Amy's charged. suffering, and I'm like, "I'm just going to buy Amy this water. I'll give this yeah, guy five dollars for the water." Chad doesn't like to buy water. He he detests water. It fucking water. comes from nature. You I understand, but like at some point, all the fucking time, and I was so thirsty. And if I say, "Oh, I'm," th- I don't normally complain about stuff. Like I don't say, "Oh, I'm hungry." Oh, I'm thirsty. But if I mention, I'll just say it as an aside. Hey, I'm kind of thirsty. That is my that's my trigger. Like I am fucking like dying of like thirst, and I'm gonna pass out. But I don't like. I need what? Cause that's just fucking annoying. Nobody yeah, no, we lived that. through this. Amy was almost dying, and Chad and this cart guy are gonna go at it over a buck, dude. I'm Plus like, are water. you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I remember the, the guy's like, get like. away from my cart, and I was like, well, <laughs> that's that escalated pretty quickly. Can we get like, people here, dude? I want to talk to con Chad though. He was like con, you know. We didn't give him the right change back, you know. It like, was worth the con to like yeah. make sure you don't die Buddy, in Central this, Park. I got like this water here, it's really really special water. Comes with the watch. Comes with the watch. <laughs> it does not. It's a gold what watch. What in? What is it? Oh my <laughs> god! You could have prevented Amy from getting sick, dude. For two. I could have. Yeah, that's what yeah. we learned today. Yeah, there's probably something I could have done there, but I think mostly she was just <laughs> upset, and she cried out a lot of the water inside of her because the Green Knight died, and then his squire got killed, and it was really sad. I and I think she. Was, she shed a lot of tears. Those Renfair battles are pretty great, though. Yeah, Fucking epic, sweet. dude! And they're not scripted. They are not. They don't know who's gonna win each joust because they just like do their jousting thing, and then they have to memorize like multiple endings for each. So if there's the first section, the second section, and the third section. You come back for each section at different times, and different people can win each section. So based off of the the, the sections that are one, mm. one, two, and three, the ending is gonna be different. Like when I went back to work and was talking to Tony, one of my coworkers, about like. Oh, Blue Knight ended up winning, and all the squires joined this epic battle. But he's like, dude, they didn't do that when I when they won in mine. It was so cool. Like just talking about who huh. won what. And then I have a, a frequent shopper that came in, and she was explaining how she works at the Ren Fair, and she's like, yeah, like they have to know all these different endings based on who's winning, and it's just it's really cool. Like wait, so that squire's I, not dead? No, they're not dead. But when they the joust, police. when those guys take their jousting sticks and Have they hit the other died? guy, that's real. Yeah. Holy crap, that has to hurt, no? Because those guys well, seem I like mean, they go pretty quick. The spears are, like, not, like, they're made to be, like, breakable kind of thing. Like, they're not made to, like, harm people. But the guys go off their horse, like, they get knocked off the horse, no? Uh, not no. at the one we went to. I'm sure they can, but oh. no, it seemed like they were pretty lighter. And you can sometimes tell by, the, like, the surprise and their, their reaction when they, like, spear the shield and it gets stuck to their, yeah. like, thing. And they're, they're like, like, yeah! <laughs> they get kind of, like, excited about it because that's six points. That's fucking oh, that's a lot of points. Yeah. yeah, that's legit. So, Instead of I, one... I failed this week besides a little bit of Mad Max. I didn't really play many games. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Getting into commercial is winning, if you ask me. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah. Do you even know what the product is? Is it the Ren Fair or is it some guy it's just, just like, taking pictures them, of like, chicks saying it's a commercial? No, it was, it was a woman. Oh. Um, well, it was probably just advertising. She can get away with it. Yeah, yeah she could be a creep if she wants. <laughs> Just a woman taking pictures of women making a like a home video. You never know, Amy. I can't wait to see this commercial. Do what you want to do. (laughs) Jeez. Ride the real fawn horn. (laughs) Do what you want with this footage, lady. That's Amy's message to you. (laughs) Enjoy it. It probably made something beautiful. It's probably just gonna be like a normal Ren Fair commercial. Amy's gonna be in it. And we'll always be like, oh, that's disappointing, but also. Where they yeah, like, with, they play awesome. the music, and it's like, yeah, it's like shows the guys jousting, and plays some like gallivanting music, and it's like, la da 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 da. And it just like does like fade in and fade out of people dancing and singing and smiling. And you fawns. saw it already? What's that? You saw it already? No, I'm just assuming like that's, that's what I'm That's I what know. it sounds like it would be to me, but. Yeah, of Ren Fair. I'm no expert of Ren Fair commercials. 
I'll put one together. I have photos of her. I have photos of Amy. I need to send her still. Yeah, I didn't even get to see it. I know. Oh, no one took dude. a picture of me, but I got a fucking hundred pictures of her on my phone. I posted you on Facebook, you fucking liar. <sighs> Did, dude. Over, wow. over 700 likes. Thank you. I want to thank all my fans for that as well. Thank you, guys. You created a lot of accounts to do that, huh? Over seven. <laughs> Tristan. It took me at least like four days. <laughs> I had that. And I spent 20 bucks, so. <laughs> Money well spent. I, I'll better on better on clicks on one ad than a bottle of water saving his life. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Jason. Mm -hmm. I got a couple of pity likes because they thought she died. Which, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but uh, that's all right, Amy. Me and Jason played some games this week for you, so we got you. We covered. did our jobs. Yeah, we have. We got to play Death Road to Canada this weekend. Um, hopefully, we can play. Oh, they it fixed it. No Man's Sky comes out. Was that? They fixed it. There's a patch out to fix. So the so my screen won't be black any longer? Supposedly, the Death Road to Canada should be able to go full screen now with no issues. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm excited. I was excited to see you guys play that. I'm almost Dude, curious I wanted to. the characters that I created would go to your account, but I think they will because we're sharing the same games. So. Oh, they will, dude. Another game that uh, does did not work for me, unfortunately, that I wanted to check out, but it didn't seem like very much fun. Lawbreakers, we got into the alpha this past week. Uh, we were going to stream a ton of gameplay, but um, it was like my system wanted to give me a seizure. And like, not, I'd say like 75% of the graphics, like the images were like flickering black and then on, on and off, on and off. Dude, I couldn't, I, I tried playing it. I did all right. I got a couple of kills, actually. This was the first time um, they sent me a survey after the alpha and said, did you play the alpha? And they asked you a bunch of questions like, what is wrong with it? And I spent a good 20 minutes and I gave them probably the best feedback I have ever given anybody. I told them exactly what's wrong with that game. I said that it's just like a mess, essentially. <laughs> like it's not balanced. Sorry, guys. Like, the the visuals are mess. boring. Like you can't differentiate. Yeah. The classes are not fun to play as. Like none of the classes are fun to play as. That's like a huge miss. The only one is the assassin. That and I, I, and I said the only good character is the assassin because it has the rope, and everybody wants the goddamn rope. Like, no yeah. one's going to play as anyone else. Is there soap on the rope? I'm not going to do it. I said <laughs> I would do it, but I'm not going to do it. But it has the rope, and you, of course you want to swing around the map like it's worms. <laughs> you don't want to drop the soap. Yeah. But no, yeah, the gimmick totally, like, once you do it, that's all you want to do. Like, there's really no reason to run around the bottom of the ground while you got this, like, assassin flipping over you and jumping over you when all of your weapons and utilities aren't that exciting or good. The only time you guys all fly together is when you're in zero gravity. And, again, the zero gravity was another situation where it's, like, something that could be really awesome. Like, but you just get in zero gravity and you're like, I need to get out of zero gravity so I can get some kills, <laughs> like, as fast as possible, right? Like, you don't want to be in there because it's just, like, terrible to play. It's, yeah. like, there's no real incentive to be in the zero gravity for any class Except that i get the see. base yeah and it's just not fun in there because you're just like floating and it's like slow and it's just not it's not a good mechanic yet like yeah, maybe sure. the zero gravity would have been best served not in the middle but on the the outside bounds of the entire map like a wrap, wrapping the map so you can kind of like jump off the edge do like a slow-mo kill as you're like sliding around as like an alternative to everybody not having a rope maybe you have the slow-mo on the edge and you're like it's almost like you have the rope, right? But you they don't. They should do something like the Ender's Game, like, oh, yes. game. Like, that would be really fun. I feel like just uh, listening to you guys describe Lawbreakers, I didn't play the Alpha, just listening to the description sort of reminds me of the Ender's Game, like, Holy game crap, a little bit. And that would be so much fun if it ended up being, like, like that, like, smooth and tactical, and you need to understand zero gravity and have to play off, like, the asteroids that are in the zero gravity, and that would be really cool, because they had, like, tethers and stun guns and that kind of stuff. You'd swing around things, and I don't know. Did Remember you they ever froze them and used read, them as a shield? Read or see that film? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're missing did. out. It's really good. Both the book and the movie are phenomenal. I thought the movie was panned, and I never saw it, but the trailer looked interesting to me. Is that with Jeff it Daniels? Good. And uh, Kingsley. Yeah, okay, I need to see that then. It was good, dude. I read the book. Hmm. No. Oh, my. Here it comes. You didn't Here read comes. it. I yeah. read the book. I read some of the book to you. There it is. Oh. You don't read. Now like I just need... Baby. Not, now yeah, I just he's need like a little this baby. <laughs> I just need someone to do comic books for me, dude. I didn't read The Hobbit, but I, I got The Hobbit read to me. I didn't read Ender's Game, but I got The Ender's Game read to me. You didn't read The Martian the Wait, first so time. you guys, so you listened to the Ender's Game on audiobook is what you're saying? 
I read it to <laughs> Amy's him. audiobook. Do you yeah. consider audiobooks like reading? If someone says they read a book but they listen to it on an audiobook, does that count as reading the book? No, because you did not read it. You listened That's to it. That's what I always say, dude. I have this argument a lot because I know some people that do a lot of audiobooks, and I'm like, you're not reading <laughs> shit, dude. Like, I'm not like, coming at them. I'm glad they're hearing them. this. I'm coming I'm at them hot. Them. Like, I don't know how hot I should come back or if I should tone it down a little bit. I think because when you're reading something, like, as an avid reader myself, when I am reading something, the rest of the world can die. Like, I am in that book, and my mind <laughs> is a thousand percent occupied with those characters and the stories. When I've done audiobooks, when I'm driving and engaging with the surrounding or cooking or doing other things, and I'm not a thousand percent in that world. And... I have missed things or don't richly build as rich of an environment in my head of the story. Yeah. So it's, I, I like reading is far for me, far more personal and far more important. And audiobooks are great, whatever. And I'm glad people are like getting to, you know, getting a chance to hear the story, but I don't care for them as much personally. I mean, but if, if you don't have time, you know. If it's an audiobook that's done by Gary Busey, then it counts as reading. Ha <laughs> Is that Fact. legit? <laughs> yes. Do you have audiobooks? Yeah, sure. Shut up, that's awesome. That is crazy. Dude, that, is, that is a good point, though, Amy, yeah. Because I had the Lord of the Rings cassettes, dude, in my car, and I was listening to them for a while. Awesome, dude. The cast did an amazing job. But, yeah, I'm not immersed into it because I'm listening to it while I'm driving. So I'm, like, focusing on, like, driving to where I'm going, not getting killed, looking out for things. Yeah. I, I, I listen to it, and, like, I get the gist of what's happening, but I really am not forming those, like, visions and things that I would be forming if I was really focused and dialed in on it. Like, when Radagast comes out and he starts yapping at me, dude, I'm just like, I'm not thinking about what he looks like or anything. I'm just thinking about taking this left turn and some Taco Bell. <laughs> That's my <laughs> issue, dude. I start to, like I, like, I feel like I'm really immersed, and then, like, the world around me like interferes and then something will come up and i'll be like oh shit i need to rewind and i just find myself constantly rewinding and rewinding it'd be faster for me to read the book at that point like yeah <laughs> i can't find a good situation where an audiobook would work for me unless maybe i'm like on an airplane or something i don't know like if i'm driving for i like to read on airplanes yeah, yeah, yeah i got like other shit to do like i'm playing my video games or something there's really no way to dial in on an audiobook like, I mean, if you got time to, like, sit and just listen to it, you might as well just sit and just read it. Yeah, and, like, yeah. I have a terrible personality for that because I'm, like, constantly doing nine things at once. So, like, an audiobook is never going to register with me. Like, I'm having yeah. a hard time. And I'm listening to, like, the Harry Potter book. Like, I'm never going to get through those books. It's impossible. Dude, I know it. I've already, I'm have i only on the first one. I've been on it for, like, I'm two weeks. very proud of Chad. That is one series he actually read is Harry Potter. And Nobody I, read it to me. No one I'm read really it. proud of him for that. I started to read it physically. I got like, and I was like, I don't know. I'm going to the thing. I want to want to know my lore, my Harry Potter lore. I was like, I could just talk to Chad for an hour and just like have him get me up to speed. Dude, yeah, yeah. We can have a session. Why myself. don't you just go into your local Hot Topic and stand by the Harry Potter merch and have all the fans tell you about it? I mean, I could rest, do that. I feel like I'm favorite. like a little bit too creepy of a human being to pull <laughs> it off. Like that might just not work out the way you envisioned it right there but you just like do like no, a awkward lean forward and be like can you can you tell me about harry potter yeah you, tell me about harry's wand and then security do you have, three seconds do you, have later. A, do you have a wand in your pocket that i could see I don't know who was harry's <laughs> yeah. yeah tell me about those quidditch balls <laughs> i heard he had a 12 inch dumbledorian <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a wand style. Is that like in the later books, the Dumbledorean? Because I haven't got there yet. Is that something I have to look forward There's to? There's a lot of subtle references on our podcast. The other wand is like, like Dolby. <laughs> it's all old. Someone, yeah, someone said when I go to the theme park, they're going to fit me for a wand. Yep. <laughs> is that, gonna that's going to be real a lot different than I'm anticipating, I'm yeah. guessing. It's, a, it's an official wand fitting. Hope it's not a curves wand. <laughs> <laughs> like Bellatrix's? <laughs> It's like a pigtail. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so Lawbreakers Alpha, not where it needs to be yet. Work to do on that game, alpha, clearly. And Jason's uh, hot, hot uh, survey back should hopefully uh, waken him up a little bit. And it seems like Cliffy B really wants to make a fucking game that he can enjoy. And I, I think he, you know, he knows where it's at. He's aware that it's not where it's it so wants early, to be. right? Like I can't come on here and shit all over it because it's an alpha still. Like, the, and if well, there's like one man, he wanted that. To yeah, he wants, he wants us to. Like, like he it. wants to be like, this is broken. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. And yeah. none of it works well right now. It's just no. not a. It's not a fun game in its current state. But there's definitely all the pieces there to put something together that could be awesome at some point. 
I have because faith it has in the fakings of Overwatch. Like, you know, your character classes that you get and that all have the different abilities. But, I mean, really, like, when there's no cooldown on that goddamn grappling hook, it feels like. No, I there like is a cooldown on it. And it's a you killer. You just keep launching cool. it, dude. No, that, that thing was boning me, dude. Like, yeah. I would shoot it. And I, I want to keep shooting it. I want to go. And I couldn't. And it was driving me nuts. And, like, and it's like one of those things that you can, like, fly across the entire fucking map with. Whereas, like, you know, characters in Overwatch that get a grappling hook, you can get to one spot. That's it. On this, you can go literally like shoot across the entire map on that thing and escape almost anything. You jump off the match like you're you fake dying and grapple your way back up. Yeah. No other character. There's not like a rocket boost where I could fake off the edge that's and like true. the rocket that's and blow true. myself. Yeah, that's back. what I'm saying. They need to do something. Plus, when we were at E3, dude, and I was, Cliffy was there and he was talking, dude, he was talking mad shit about Overwatch at E3. So like, I feel he's he's just like, come at me, bro. Just like tell me and. He's got a lot of work to do, dude. If he wants to play with Overwatch, yeah. If he wants to, if he wants to match anything, dude, he's got he's got some work to do. But uh, yeah, so we had a chance to check that out, dude. And we started our continued our journey, dude, to the rise of Iron with Destiny, um, making some advancements. Jason's up there, dude. I think he got to level forty this like last week. And yeah, uh, I hit forty. Toby hit forty. Yep. You hit hard forty. I was I was like. Oh, look at the puppy! Ah! And. And you know what, dude? I say we just talk about the puppy for a while. Fuck it, dude. It's eating the cord. It's so cute. It's so... That Tristan's dog gone. Is, is that dog is hilarious. <laughs> oh, Tristan, you're so officially your little party, right? <laughs> no, we don't care, dude. We just want to talk about this dog trying to bite yeah, your nipples, sure. dude. Look at him, dude. He does not want to stay. How old is that thing now? Gunshot. Uh, ten weeks. It is so cute. This is the first time it's appeared on the podcast. How little it is, dude. Look at those little legs. What's his name? For the people. Louie. 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 We have an Oompa Loompa. We have a pug, dude. This is podcast (laughs) all the fucking rails. She wants to go run. Yeah. Oh, my God. Somebody needs your dog. Gone, dude. It's going to slide across the floor, dude, right into the wall. Just playing with the cat. No. (laughs) Yeah, chasing the cat. So yeah, Jason got to level forty um, in Destiny. We were able to get there, dude. Now we're gonna start taking down some of the strikes, some of the higher end content, dude. And hopefully, uh, take Jason through the vault of glass, give him a tour of that. You should, and, uh, you should join stuff. us, Tristan. This game is actually a ton of fun now. Do so you have yeah. to be a certain level? Uh if you buy the. We just took Jason game. from like thirty up, dude. You can get a twenty-five fast fast pass, dude. Yeah. I'm probably like an eighteen right now or something. Yeah. No, I was like a nine when I started. Yeah, and this is only like two weeks, and I have not. I mean, it sounds interesting. I mean, and Chad and Toby are all over me to play, and I'm just like, we're, we played for like nine hours on Friday night, I feel like, or something. It was like a six-hour stream, dude. It was out of control. It was a long fucking stream. Yeah, dude. it was a really long stream. It was a long stream. Are you jealous? But it was a fun stream. Fakes? People, oh, were, people enjoyed it. Jealous? Then why, why are you saying it like that? Then you're making the bad thing. I can't play games with you if you're playing games with them. You could have played with us. Yeah, she doesn't want to play. Ah! I don't know. It's, it's still Destiny. It's so cool. I'm excited to play Rise of Iron. Like, I, we're going to probably stream more this, I don't know, not this weekend, but probably next week for sure. We'll, if not with me and you, me and Toby, or you and Toby, we'll get some combos playing this some more. Yeah, dude. I don't know. People are, talking. like, probably burnt out on Destiny at this point, but. No, dude. Are you kidding me? It's there's fun to gear new, up. There's hot new it's the information coming out, dude. I'm going to jump in right now, dude. So the artifacts that you're getting, dude, they just released more Rise of Iron details. So I'm going to talk about those a little bit here because Destiny's still got a huge market, too. People are kind of burnt out, but are starting to, re, re, you know, get back into it Yeah, a bit. it's starting to get September's hot. September's right like, around we're, the corner. We're, we're, we're pushing it hard on our site. Um, dude, eight new artifacts now that are going to be announced with different abilities, which actually sound pretty cool. And they're going to um, go into your slot and they can double your damage of bullets. They'll make you use like heavy bullets more, um, primary bullets more. Um, there's some that will uh, deflect certain bullets. Um, they're going to add like special skills to your character. So that artifact slot that was pretty much just for like show now yeah. is actually going to be worth something. Do something. They're adding. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how we are on the stream. Like the, every, every time we're playing, we're like. Chad is learning new things, and I feel like Chad has put in like 300 hours of this game, and he's consistently like, dude, oh, look at this. Chad Senpai. Oh, Chad Senpai. Yeah. Yeah, he's like our he sensei. Master. Yeah, we're basically Senpai. like, Chad, tell Senpai. us how to do this. And then I, I just. And then you know, Chad, he's a horrible communicator. We've talked about this multiple yeah, times on this podcast and the stream, and, and he's off doing stream, his own thing. I learned. I'm going to take over the podcast now. He's like, I'll teach you how to swim, and he just tosses you in the fucking water, dude, and you die. <laughs> 
Hey. What, Amy? That's you're thirsty? Get rid of my enemies. Thirsty? Learn how to not be thirsty. Hey, how are you the best at things? You make I'm everyone so else suck. Yeah. <laughs> that is a fact. That is actually a fact, yes. As long as, <laughs> that's, that is how I... Dude, look up the random 30 on Tech Mobile versus me versus Tristan. I played that game for two weeks, threw him in there raw, a destroyed him. A lot of practice. I looked really good in that video. And he gave me a faulty controller. <laughs> gave a yeah. faulty controller, lied. I lied on the video and said I hadn't played it. I've been playing that every single day for two weeks. <laughs> destroyed him. I looked yes. awesome. I came out of that looking like a superstar. Yeah, that's how you do it, dude. That's how that's how life is, man. Yeah. Uh, we talked about it too uh, a few weeks ago. The light level cap leaked out to 355. Um, it's 385 officially and 400 after hard mode comes out. Um, they talked about new co-op mm -hmm. mode, Archon's uh, Forge, which is shorter than the Prison of Elders, but similar to the Court of Oryx, which Jason hasn't been into yet. But this is fucking cool as hell. So it's going to be like the multiplayer abilities of like the Court of Oryx, where you go in there, you like throw down the relic, and then like a bunch of people try and help you out and like that take down so the big much dudes. Fun. Yeah, so now they're adding one to the Archon Forge too, so that's gonna be pretty like that's gonna be pretty sweet looking. Like just fighting tons of dudes, you'll be able to get like the level 400 cap items from that, so you don't need to do like the final raid or maybe like 385 and then final raid 400 and then down the road. Um, they also talked about um, ornaments for gear in the latest uh, release oh, too. Oh, what is that? So the, the ornaments you put on your pieces. So maybe I have like a fur shoulder piece. You want a fur shoulder piece? Like you can get an ornament maybe Everyone that'll add that. Everyone wants a fur shoulder piece. I've, dude, since the game piece. came out, dude, Lord, <laughs> Lord fucking Saladin had a fucking just drapery of fur, and like the that, whole fucking time. It's like your Saturday I'm, outfits, generally. I, dude, exactly. Like Saturday night rolls around, boom, I'm on. I'm on oh, I'm oh Chad's got a fur coat. Shocker. Yeah. He's got, like, oh, hey, Chad. Nice coats. Coats. <laughs> he has three fur coats. Of course oh, he does. I, I have know. two. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. So it's just like. Lord Saladin's rocking this fur, dude. I'm like thinking when I get to level, you know, max light level, I'm gonna be rocking some fur. No, wah, wah. they didn't add it until I think it was the Den of Wolves, House of Wolves, that they added that. And finally, you can get like a shoulder piece. So, anyways, the ornament stuff is gonna be similar to the Chroma stuff, which I just have been learning about. This Chroma you, like, stuff is awesome, by the yeah, way. Yeah, the like, Chroma. It gives cool. you like neon lighting on your suits, dude. It's pretty great. I found That's a helmet, dude. Lame. I got blue. You think it's lame? Light mask now. Yeah. Did you I'm see it in person? Lame. What? I saw some guys with some, like, some I cool, like like, different chick, colors. The chick rocking chroma headgear <laughs> says chroma is not good. Yeah, with chroma skin. You, yeah, you have chroma skin with a chroma <laughs> headpiece on. Get out of here. You're yeah, but I have chroma in real life. That's chroma. In, I just don't think it was executed well. It was like, at least on the gear that I had it on, it looked kind of tacky, and it just it didn't uh, enhance my gear that oh, I had. See, I saw it and it was actually like it was like striping down the arm, which I thought was kind of cool, like it, like piping almost, and it like kind of sweet, so sweet. confused about. And it lit up a belt, and I thought it was kind of interesting. Can we can we hit the fucking brakes here for a second? When the fuck did you put chroma on your gear? When I played Destiny after the last up like two three gigabyte update with Caden, my nephew. Recent, like in the last month or two. Like a month and a half ago, when you get Chroma for free, they like they like give it to you for free. Yeah, all right. Tristan, don't you think we should do something on the podcast where like when they start having like a relationship art like thing, like you, you and I phase off, off and it says relationship talk or something, and it just yes! like, zooms in on them too, and we just like well, do our own thing. We're in the background. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should do it. You should. We do should it. work That's towards funny. that in the next few weeks. And like have something scroll across the bottom where your videos normally play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why, why the fuck didn't you tell me that you were playing with other people? <laughs> it's like Chad is like genuinely heartbroken <laughs> that Amy is gaming without him. It's like what this is. I was gonna leave the podcast just now. Yeah. Yeah, that was so fucking funny. awesome. I was like, dude, how the hell did you get the chroma on, dude? What are you talking about? You're talking out of your ass. Well, you weren't. You <laughs> I don't know shit about it. chroma. You, you don't get it know. For free at the fucking event. Like, they mail it to you. You just check okay. your, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's you know what I'm talking about. It's like a girl. Chroma. Doesn't mean I don't play video games. Have we talked about my FSB motto thing on the podcast yet? No, we never Because this did. thing is Jason. killing me, dude. Every week, Jason. man. Fuck. Talk about it, man. I don't know how to talk about it, except for my name in Destiny has changed from my normal screen name to, I don't even care, I'll give it out, FSB Motto. It's I like, saw that. Give it out, because the there's probably... And I didn't know who it was, and I couldn't figure out... I don't who, know who I am. But the weird yeah. thing is, it's tied to your PlayStation profile name. So if you're, whatever your PlayStation profile name is, becomes so your Destiny name. your PlayStation profile. I know. Exactly. So I hadn't played Destiny since day two with Tristan when we booted it up, and I deleted it, so then I had to re-download it. I'm assuming when I re-download it, some kind of weird corruption happened between re-downloading it, adding all the patches, and then adding the Taken King in. 
They gave you a new name? So my name just randomly changed to FSB Motto, which has kind of grown on me. It's kind of cool, actually. I feel like it, he <laughs> it did kind of cool create name. it, and he didn't get, like, the fucking, like, the royal parade that, that he wanted for that cool belly. name. Yeah. But that's, that's not true, belly. though, because I, I've shown you on the, if you actually you pull up the Destiny app, it shows your name, and it says my name is my real name on the Destiny app. And yeah. you can change it in there. So I've changed it multiple times. It, do, it gives me emails saying, hey, just so you know, someone changed your screen name. And I'm like, cool, awesome. And it stays. And then yeah. now when I go to the PSN dashboard, it says my normal name on the dashboard. But when I s click into my achievements, it has my new fake destiny name in there. What? So like my name changes on my PSN dashboard like multiple times. And I said she had some pictures of it as evidence of this crazy thing <laughs> happening yeah. so that he knows I'm well, not insane. Well, I invited him to the game as his real PSN name, and then he gets in there, and it's FSB Motto, and I was like... Who did I just invite? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's it's, it's very know. confusing. When I turned the game on, I was like, that's not my character, but I guess... What's a motto, dude? Yeah. What's a motto with you? So then they just make motto <laughs> and tomato What's jokes the, the entire time. You? So there's that, tomato I guess. Jokes? Oh, what does the FSB motto mean? Joke. I said fat, saggy belly. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> I didn't mean accurate. yours. It's accurate. Oh, shut up. Fuzzy, yeah, slimy butt. Fudgy, victory. slimy butt. What do you got, Tristan? First shot victory. B. No. As in boy. B. Oh, B. B as, as in as badger. badger. Oh. For some reason, I was thinking. You say C? Uh, Why did you say D? R? <laughs> say D? My fingers hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> What the? Fuck it. What yeah, the? FSB model. Look out for him, dude. All week long. Yeah, check me uh, out. We'll, we'll be streaming some Destiny. We'll have some new stuff up this weekend as well, too. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Hang around. Uh, next week, we have No Man's Sky, dude, coming out on Tuesday. Tuesday night, we're going to have a stream of it going out. Going late into the morning, dude. We'll see how long we can go with uh, No Man's Sky, dude. Uh, people, you know, are on the fence for it. It's been, it's supposed to have come out like you know a long time ago, and it's been on hiatus. And now there's, you know, some dude named Day Me Un on Reddit, aka Damien. Oh, I'm assuming on, he was Damien. trying to be clever with it. Um, paid 1,300 fail. bucks, dude. You guys may have heard to play No Man's Sky early from some dude on eBay. So first of all, he didn't even know if this guy had a legit copy. He's just like, hey, I'm paying him 1,300 bucks. Yeah, you could probably get your refund if it didn't show up. And then uh, open up the box, and holy shit, it was in there. So he started playing. I mean, if you're paying thirteen hundred dollars for a game on eBay, you probably don't give a shit about money at that point, right? You're just like, fuck yeah. it, dude. It's like I'm buying a Snickers or something. It doesn't really matter. Like, <laughs> a rare Snickers. Yeah, like a rare Snickers. And done. But yeah, like so the dude was like, you, you know, money it doesn't mean I got I, I'm I got money. I'm fine with it. You know, if I was to die tomorrow, you know, I, I at least I got to play this game. I, I don't know. I'd like to think that maybe I could do something crazy. Yeah. Relate without maybe dice. he wasn't saying like this is the last thing I would ever do. That's totally worth it. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. It's just like and I maybe I think he was just saying enjoy yourself, do what you want, you know, have a good time. But anyways, he started leaking some footage, and uh, then he stopped because he felt bad for Sean Murray and the dudes at Hello Games, and didn't want to spoil it for anyone because they were working so hard on it. And they tweeted out, you know, hey, you know, it's leaking. Don't ruin it for yourselves. Enjoy the game, you know, when it comes out. But the dude was able to take the game down in 30 hours, um, what they consider the end of the game, which is getting to the center of the universe. But that no, was we by don't know a, it's a universe, essentially. It's a he got to the center of a galaxy. Uh, well, he's spoken since then, and he doesn't have much else to go to. Oh, he has. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he didn't go cloak and dagger, dude. He didn't disappear, dude. He's just like, I mean, yeah, he's like, you can you can start it again. Oh, I thought you got to the center and then you continue to do more. Galaxies. So yeah, he says there's still stuff to do that he didn't complete. Uh, he's not going out and ruining it for people, but he is saying that you could probably potentially beat it in 30 hours, and that's based upon him like finding these like astral things. I'm not gonna ruin anything for anyone, and I didn't ruin it for myself. I'm just going off kind of what I know. Um, from him, but there's items that you can get on certain planets, and they're in kind of like the same spots that you would assume further up and further up. They're kind of just like there to assist you. Yeah. And it gives you like, you know, and they sell for a, a broken amount of money, which is probably that's why the um, the review copies have been held back is because they have a day one patch. Egg alert, egg alert, egg alert. Woo, stop what you're talking about. Amy's got an egg. Eat it. Eat the egg. egg. Eat the egg. egg. Eat the it's egg. still warm Eat from cookies egg. on a booty hole. Oh, you're touching yeah. it right out of the bun? 
Yeah, she like just laid it. Oh, okay. Like That's not cool. No, I don't... dude. Yeah, she do just you normally it. do that? What? Pick just it like up? grab it right out of her butt. Well, she laid the egg. I heard it fall. She out grabs her... her by the neck. Out of her what? Shaking. What hole does it come out of? I don't. It doesn't come it's out of the so chicken's tiny. butt. Yes, eggs come out of chicken's butts. The same spot they poop. Yes. It's like a guy can pee and ejaculate Whoa. from his penis. Is that where a baby comes from? Yeah, the baby spot. Right yeah, babies come out of people's buttholes. Huh. Tristan's like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm dealing with this shit, dude. I'm here to talk about No Man's Sky. I don't want to talk about chicken's butts. She Why just not? laid an egg, though, and it's warm and so, cuddly. So before the eggs alert... Um, yeah, so no, so review copies being held back for No Man's Sky um, because there's a huge day one patch that adds features, fixes a few things, and I'm assuming that when you guys plug it in and download that day one patch, that'll probably be a couple hundred megabytes, just assume it, um, that it's going to fix the, the item that you get for free that is on quite a few planets, easily attainable, that sells for almost ten times as much as a stack of rare materials, that that's probably going to be nerfed down to quite a bit, so... Right. Because the way he was saying is like he could easily just like skip like a ton of planets, get closer, just buy anything he needs, and just keep doing the process. Obviously, dude, you know if you do that for straight for thirty hours, you're not fucking even. You you shouldn't have bought the game because you're not enjoying it. I doubt it. Maybe you enjoyed doing nothing and just getting to the middle of nothing. I it just doesn't sound fun, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like Toby, dude, who joins us on a stream. If you guys haven't checked it out, dude, check out Toby. He's pretty funny. He eats a lot. He eats. Uh, he does our food show. He does, does our Food Network show on Twitch, so... Um, but uh, he said he's going to take over one planet and spend his entire time on the planet trying to create a habitation and the landing, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see him, so... That is really strange. Like, what can he build? You can't build anything, right? Uh, well, you can carve out the lands to get materials, so I'm assuming that you could probably, do, like, do, you know, the, the journey to the center of the Earth thing. Yeah, just we get a tunnel as far as they can tunnel. And just go straight through the planet. I'm assuming Dude, that you'll be able to. that's cool. And there's also like, you know, like this guy, you know, he didn't do anything he wanted to. He paid 1300 bucks. He wanted to fucking just destroy and go as quick as possible. Like you can go inside these planets and like caverns are formed inside of there. So you'll be able to explore those and like find different things inside of there as well. So I mean. So it kind of sounds like an adult Minecraft. No. Yes. Because you can't build. Potentially, yeah. Well, he was just saying that he's going to make like a landing he, he's pad. He's doing more like... terraforming, I think. Right? Oh, I didn't, did I say landing pad? Yeah, you did. Yeah. What? I don't remember. Yeah, that. you really blacked did. out for a second. But I think <laughs> it happens a lot, dude. I remember saying landing pad. I feel like I said something else. But uh, I think I was saying you can dig through and go to ca yeah. You were taking caverns, like yeah to the center cavern. of the earth, like terraforming more essentially instead of like Minecraft where you're building things. This is just yeah. More, like, you yeah, can yeah. shoot the down and make a hole. Yeah, and then like you know carve out walls of like around things and you know Wait, I think it's how much you can like, destroy if you can destroy get, like, the ground machines for you. to do that or do you use your hands you, you use a like, laser gun yeah oh, you have the a same gun that it's, you use yeah it's else? super it's super basic it's not chad mid just a little slip there but yeah but no you're not because i got more excited instead of being like oh this game is actually sounding more and more boring the more i hear about it i think it. it's going to be really interesting to talk about you customize your ship dude and ship battles it's that's yeah i mean it's going to be interesting to see like when we come back next week and we're all we've all played this game for like, 17 hours yeah like what are we going to what's our experience is going to be on that like what if i got all terrible planets and you got all cool planets you could say this game is awesome and i could be like well this game is terrible because i got shitty planets which is so, entirely possible is, um yes it is absolutely because one other complaint he had, a huge complaint he had was that any plant that had water or any planet that had water um the creatures that were supposed to be inside the water were stuck in the ground and half in the ground and half out in the water so he couldn't scan any of them he said it's not a major issue but i mean it's just like you know, he said it was kind of annoying that if it was a large animal in the water that it did, you couldn't really do anything with it because it was stuck and he said it, it wasn't just one planet it happened on several different ones which is kind of a bummer but i'm just excited to see this world dude all the upgrades you can get for your gear and like your ships and the tools and i don't know just exploring it and seeing what's going on see what the push the limits of the game see what i can do in it can i kill like can i kill my do, blow up my ship uh, well, that's what I was saying before I stopped. Uh, I don't know if you can dig through the earth. I think you can only like uh, absorb like items that um, are marked. Because I was thinking about it. If you could, 
could I potentially just destroy the ground around my ship and just drop my ship into the center of the earth? Dude, and then like, what would you do if your ship was stuck? Oh, like, guys. would you have to like build a new craft or do you call something on a com and get a new ship? Or do you have to just like, is your game over? You have to start a new game? Scavenge, dude. I think, yeah. I, think... I don't think there's any way to lose your ship. Yeah, I think um, you guys are being like a it would more just optimistic than like you would just if you have any there. right being at this point. Like you could break the ground, but your ship would still just stay there, kind of thing. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you can destroy the ground. I, yeah, I think you can only mine things that are lit like up as marks mining. to mine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Well, our game that we're making in our heads sounds way cooler. And I'm gonna steal his super code, and I'm gonna make my own game with his <laughs> super code. The, su the super, yeah, the super formula or whatever it is i don't know i'm still super excited i think there's a lot of cool shit to happen here like it's gonna just be fun, the, just the, just just having these experiences and being able to talk about them with you guys and about the different things that we've seen should be fun i'm I getting goosebumps just talking about it dude. If they will Ooh. have chickens that will lay eggs for me chicken on top of ferret bodies with foxes chasing you oh uh, and i have little eggs coming out their booties dude you are obsessed with chickens it's out of line look at and how eggs. cute their little eggs so and egg licking, dude. Uh, let's talk about some news here real quick, dude. So bad. Um, before we kind of move along, dude. Scramble. Overwatch has just come out. Dude, put your fucking egg down around. Put it in your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> this egg. I want that dog, Tristan's dog, to eat that egg. He Can that happen? Fresh. Can that egg hatch? Yes. No, there's no roosters. How could it... How Hatches. could there be a baby inside of here without a male to fertilize it? That's how I talk to little kids. When some kid asks me a dumb question, <gasps> like, why is the Am sky blue? I'm like, listen here, you little shithead. It's blue because it's fucking blue. That's what you just did to me with that egg. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, I know everything about chickens, dude. That's how you I'm need a boy and a girl to make a baby unless you're like an asexual, like, dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Man, God. I don't know shit about that. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> that's how i feel all the time <laughs> so welcome to my world um overwatch just got a now it's dude the olympic games in case you didn't know because it's hard to actually know because there's nothing positive really coming out of it but the olympic games start this weekend not too many people are excited about the olympic games but overwatch is super excited about the olympic games apparently so much so that they created an arena mode called lucio ball <laughs> uh, oh man i know there's so many puns to be made there but i'm gonna let them ride give me one let it all ride but the big thing is they added a um, loot boxes into here that you can get kind of some cool emotes. There's some like cool a, gear, too. Yeah, there's some cool gear, some cool emotes. A lot of the gear, like a lot of the skins I saw wasn't weren't that cool. Like a lot of them were just colors, and then they had like Olympic flags on them. But there were a couple that McCree's actually... McCree's American flag Creed. thing was pretty great. Yeah, Creed's and is Genji, awesome. Genji is pretty lame. Genji had the cool, like the it was all white with the Japanese flag. I thought it was pretty neat. Um. Yeah, so a lot of the emotes, dude. I thought Bastion's boxing emote, dude, where the boxing gloves came on him, dude, and he like threw a couple of punches and then <laughs> dropped him down. Dude, I'm not a biology oh. major. <laughs> that was just awesome. People give me shit, it. dude, because I don't know about chickens and eggs, dude. It's the story <laughs> of my life, man. They didn't live on a farm. There it is, dude. dude. I didn't know they came out of the butts until today. That's that's. You know? Where do you think they came out of their mouths? That they like vomited eggs out of their mouths? Dude, Asian I have. Thought. Dude, I don't know. Not know how many holes chickens have, right? Like. All right, guys. Well, here, I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna go a little by. I'm gonna go a little uh, sex ed class on you guys real quick. So yeah. Be I'm just gonna come out and say it. Jason thought that female chickens had vaginas. <laughs> Seems like a thought fair thought. Did. Yeah, it's an understandable <laughs> thought, dude. I get it. It's a lady. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, you. So there it is, dude. There you guys go. Oh, now, I feel now, dumb. Ho hopefully, that answered a lot of questions that you guys all have been wondering your entire lives. Oh, and male chickens do not have penises. There you go. There's that for you too. This goes they back have... to the whole chicken and the egg situation, right? You can Google it if you want. If you well, want I'm to learn about it, like I'm gonna Google <laughs> chicken penis on my computer. No. They got a thing they called... They don't have that! All of a sudden, I'm getting these weird, the weirdest Google ads ever on my Facebook page. I'm pretty sure Twist, Tristan's quitting the, quitting the company. Yeah, he's, <laughs> Tristan is pretty much over it. Yeah, he's like, dude, can you just fucking tell me what's going on with Overwatch real quick? I, I need to <laughs> dude, fucking know. Tell me know. about these skins, dude. I need to know these skins. He's like, I'm out of here, dude. I'm going to go look it up somewhere else, dude. But uh, anyways, yeah, a bunch of crazy skins. The Olympics are going on. The Lucio Ball mode is awesome looking, though. It reminds me of Rocket League, except you only play Lucio. 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 
Yeah, it's, because it's he's got the bouncing mechanics and he skates on the walls and stuff. But it seems like a lot of fun, dude. Something that you know, check it out, dude. It's going on from now until the twenty second of August. Um, loot boxes. Um, Lucio Ball could be something that they put in further and longer. But I just think it was really cool that it was a, a special event that they added. And like, I didn't see it coming. I don't think a lot of people saw it coming until it just released. And it's like, it's you know, it's not an insane mode, but it's like definitely different than any mode that's currently in the game. So. Yeah. Um, we also got uh, the loot boxes are two for a dollar ninety nine, which I think is a fucking ripoff. Two for a dollar ninety nine? A dollar a box, dude. Are you guaranteed to get a, a skin? You're guaranteed something Olympic related. You're not guaranteed a Bastion boxing glove. I could be out forty bucks, dude, buying fifty bucks. So forty dollars. Can buy them? <laughs> but I need. But well, you can unlock. Can, can, you, can you only get these by unlocking? Did you already say that? When I was okay. like, I got distracted by this fucking chicken and egg situation here. <laughs> What were you wondering? Can you buy the? Do you, can you use the, like your level up your normal boxes to get this Olympic stuff, or is this just no, a separate dude. store item? You can only get the boxing gloves from the store, gotcha, or any gotcha. any other skins and crazy shit that you want, dude. But yeah, you can only get it from the store. So, dude, which sucks, man. You know, darn right, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump on. I'm gonna, jump on, I'm gonna buy a couple. Me. I'm gonna buy two of them. What is that? Four dollars? Basic math. Uh, no, <laughs> basic math would tell you, like I told you, two of them is a dollar ninety nine. No, yeah, I said how many? Did I say I was gonna buy two. I'm gonna buy two. I said. Jason, just stop. Yeah, you're gonna buy two boxes, which is a dollar ninety nine. Can I get someone with a calculator out here? No, right I'm now? gonna buy two sets of two oh, okay. loot boxes. <laughs> like you have to, you said you have to buy them as two essentially. Well, just buy five boxes for four. I can't, I can't buy one for a dollar, right? You said I have to buy two. <laughs> Screw you guys tonight, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were telling me you're going for the two for deal. Dude, I'm like, I am course, confused right now. <laughs> of course you're I'm going for the two for deal. I like that the people are nice to you in chat. They're like, poor Jason, they love you. Yeah, I'm like a lovable <laughs> idiot right now. It's <laughs> a terrible he situation to be in. have vaginas and he doesn't know how to do math. <laughs> <laughs> My math, you know what? I stand by that because you said two for $1.99 and I said I'm going to buy two sets. So I'm okay with that. It's all it's all good. It's I am fine. Good, dude. Um... Should we? Uh, I'm gonna skip Pokemon Go news right now because I don't really want to get into that, dude. But I do. Oh, yeah. Tristan! Wait, oh, all of a sudden Tristan joins the fucking podcast. <laughs> Welcome like, back, Tristan. Fucking Tristan, tell us about Pokemon Go. Yeah, news. tell us all about it. Tell us. Well, tell they us got rid of those third-party websites that were tracking everything. That, dude, that 11 million <laughs> people plus were using well, consistently, dude. Yeah, they're because they're lazy. Because their in-app game thing tracker is broke as shit. So why wouldn't you use the outside things? And they removed it. So in an update, uh, without communicating, which I think is the dumbest thing ever. Did you have like 70 million people playing your fucking game, giving you your money, and the last thing you're doing is communicating to them about all these changes that are coming? The game launches with the tracker. It's fucking up their servers, and it's like making things slower. So then they remove the tracker completely. So now, and my best example, and I will always go back to it, is that tracker is fucking broke in general, and even telling you what's around you is broke in general. Because when that fucking Dragonair appeared... And it was, and we like, we, we couldn't find it. So then we pull, busted out the PokeVision because we're like, dude, it's around here somewhere. But like it's, cheat. It's, it's okay. It's listed as the second thing in the nine boxes. So that should mean it's like the second closest one, right? Six fucking blocks away. Get it run six blocks. Six it's blocks. It's 94 degree heat to find that motherfucker. And that tracker was broke in the game. And if they had tried to find it in the game, I never would have got my Dragonair. But they took the tracker out now, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to get your hopes up. No, but no. So the the feet the feet are gone. happen. The feet are gone, but it's still gonna it's still gonna tell me that that motherfucker is right there, and he's not. Well, he's six blocks away. I mean, well, yeah. Go do some adventuring. Well, do you know what's in between the six blocks? Yeah. So you guys are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, that and there could be other. There's Pidgeys and Rattatats in between the six blocks. And then let, let me just tell you this: which which six blocks direction should I go? North, south, east, west? I got no idea. It's Try in one. a six blocks radius. It ends up being in like a two mile radius, and it's only there for 15 minutes. So, you got 15 I... minutes to search six mile radius, dude. Good fucking luck finding that some bitch. But yeah, hopefully they I, I, see, I can see. I see both sides of the coin. You know, like I, mean, I totally get it. It's now it's down to the point where it's cool just to pull out if you're going for a walk or you're just like doing stuff. I, it's no, it's not good to go out and like try and hunt these guys down efficiently and like I enjoy know. like and try and like really specifically find something. But could you ever to... though? That's my thing, right? Like, yes, on you your... yes, dude. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. The first time we pulled it out, me and Amy literally tracked a squirtle 
yes. who is three steps away to zero steps. Okay, I get that. I understand that. I'm just saying, like, you can track those three or whatever it shows on your thing. But outside, the, like, the when nine. you have those core ones that are there, like, you really have to venture out anyway to go and track them. I don't fuck. I mean, I don't give a shit about this. Like, I'm playing it like you are passively. Like, I go out and I played it, and yeah. now I'm, like, level eight or something. And but hey, like I'm okay anything, with it. people are going to want to put hours into Although it. Although there is a Pokestop now that I can hit from my apartment, so I got like 300 Pokeballs, so that's clutch. You son of a bitch, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that, I was like, how did something happen with their GPS and now it hits my apartment perfectly? Like, I could sit here and just get Pokeballs all day. So it's pretty yeah, great. dude, I, I actually wrote a letter to Niantic um, requesting that the um, there's a really, really old, it's probably like at least like four week old um, poop, poop scoop um, thing <laughs> right outside. Oh, and like a little thing where you get the... Yeah. yeah, and I mean, it's got history. I mean, I see the people touching it all the time, dude. So maybe they can turn it into a Pokestop and maybe more people will see it. You know, it's got bags. So and, and the, the My Pokestop that I, I can, like, get that's across the street now, they just actually demolished it yesterday. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to stay. That's going to be interesting. It'll stay. There's demolished buildings in downtown Milwaukee that yeah. are still there. Right, the, so that's uh, good then. Well, that's exciting for me. Well, until they do an update inside at some point. So you guys are still just going to casually play? Are you good? You're still in, right, Tristan? I'm casually playing at this point. How many do you guys for... have? Hmm? How many do you have? I found like, from my Pokedex, I found like 61 so far. That seems I like think... a pretty good collection. That's not that good. Oh. I'm sure That's... Amy and Chad are more than me. Uh, I think I'm around 70-ish. Yeah. So you're more no. than me. <clears throat> you have two more than I do. I have 81, so, and you have two more. Do I? Yeah, I'm not going to You guys utilize that cheat to the max. No, actually. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go with Amy's eye saying you absolutely did. I think we. How about you literally... stop calling it a cheat and call it a bandage for a broken game? Because it didn't do the exact same thing that the tracker did. That's my problem with it. Like, because this would show. You said you didn't care, so how can you. Well, I mean, if you're going to call me out on it, I'm going to say, like, if you pull up your phone, you can only see, like, three or four Pokemon that have footprints, maybe six or nine or something like that. This can show you the entire. You know, like yeah, so you can jump in your car. Ten miles, quick. yeah, and if go you know find them. Gonna like, not disappear for ten minutes, and there's a big it. difference. I mean, I don't care. Use it, but don't like, yeah, I, I don't but care. We, we never used it until it broke. Yeah, so we didn't we, care to. Use we had it. zero urge to to well, it broke use pretty it pretty early. <laughs> until yeah, until yeah. it was like there was no way. It's yeah, just like, well, like ah. let's let's I mean, give I, us. A I way. consider it cheating because you're using an extra resource to figure the game out. The game is. The point is to go adventure around your area. If you find something, you find something. And the if core game works. That's the idea. Before too. winter, nobody's gonna remember this game in the spring because that nobody's is... gonna be outside no. catching Pokemon in the northern hemisphere. Dude, I bet the usage on that website was like one percent. I don't I think, think I utilize over... my map at all while playing. Like, if I see, oh, I see something grayed out. I'm like, oh, I wonder what that thing is, and something I haven't caught before. I've never once like tried to find it. I just, Why I not? just let it happen. Like that's it, insane it, to me. It, it you casually, have to find it, Tristan. And it casually happens. Yeah, that's how I feel too. It'll, like I'll casually find one. I'll turn it on and be like, oh shit, dude! Like, I was at the walk, grocery store. Like, I turn it on. There were four Pikachu's. What? <laughs> I was like, you guys would be so pissed if you saw this. Yeah. Yes. I like the happy accident. What? Fucking pissed. Yeah. I, I was like, well, this is. I was like, this is exciting. I like this part of the game when it's random. So one of the other biggest things too, you know, on this lack of communication. Uh oh. Right in queue. Yeah. yeah, I think we just <laughs> lost Chad's audio for a second there. <laughs> All right, Amy, you are now the host. Yeah. <laughs> Show us how this is I'm done. The host, I'm the host. So enough about Pokemon Go because my opinion's right on it, and I don't care what you two have to say. Um, we should talk about something else. What do we want to talk about, guys? Do we want to talk about the host attitude problem? Like, I feel like you have to have, like, more... My back? Yes, uh, thank oh, you. Garrett's... So, God, Amy almost Garrett's crashed this bitches. goddamn thing into a... Oh, wow, all right. I don't know right what to talk about, dude. Damn, dude. Let oh, me I don't know. Open the notes. We can talk about chicken. Oh, anyways, I was just going to bring it up real quick. The legendary creature, legendary Pokemon that people have been hunting for that they want to get, the Articuno, um and such like that are have been rumored to be not in the game in the game and they were given away as items by some fucking awesome csr dude love it dude i love csrs can i just get a round of applause for csrs across the world dude when you're having a shit day and you just want to make something you make yourself laugh what do you do when someone says hey 
and this uh, this is probably something I would do if I was just kind of done with this business and I was moving on. And I'm assuming this is what this guy did or whoever did it, but they gave away an Articuno when they shouldn't have um, to a to a person. And the person wrote into Niantic and said, "Hey, I accidentally deleted, I accidentally transferred in my Pidgeot that was like a really high CP." And the person responded by misspelling Articuno, and then saying, "This isn't a Pidgey, but I hope you enjoy this. Go Team Mystic!" and what? gave and gave him an Articuno. Um, That's so awesome. So Niantic went out and denied that they gave anyone this, and it must have been a spoof or hack. And then a day later, after they investigated it, realized that someone had given out a handful of Articunos to people in the wild, and they revoked these legendary creatures from the people that got them That's not because fair. it was unfair to other people that would not have access to them. And they're saving so they these guys much... for special events too. Yeah, but they've never said that. Again, a lack oh. of communication. No, they they have said that when they're at San Diego Comic Con, they yeah. said they're going to hold special events. Thank to release. you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tristan, because I told you that, Chad, and you were like, did, no, they didn't, and I was like, yes, they did. That is such a good impersonation of Chad, do it again. He did not <laughs> say, did it, did it. he did not say legendary creatures, he said we will release Pokemon at special events Well, what do you year. think? Use your brain. I mean, put two there's a together ditto. Here. There's a ditto that hasn't been found, and that's not legendary. So I'm just saying that, you know, you could be a little bit more clear and not The so ones vague. missing from the game are being saved for special events. Well, no one knew they were missing until now. We, everyone was just under the assumption that you could Nobody probably find Nobody assumed that you could find an Articudo or a Moltres <sighs> or a Zapdos out in the wild. Well, anyways, it was actually a hilarious 24 hours because everyone was thinking, yeah. like, bitching at this person Mystic. saying that saying they were, like, fake and they created this Articuno and they put it there. So people spoofed their GPS to go to the gym that they put it in to see if it was there. And a few people were like, it is there. But then they are like, no, you're probably on their side just saying it's there to confuse everybody and get them all people worked People are up. awesome, dude. I like so, dude, people like, get the weird. internet for, like, you know, a few hours, if you were into that scene, was just in a shitstorm, dude. They're just like, huh, that's not real, that's fake. And, like, everyone's got their own stories. It was hilarious. And then, you know, Niantic even fucking stirred the pot by saying, no, we didn't give it out. It must have been a spoof or a hack because they didn't know that some dude actually handed out until they ran stats on it. And they're like, wait a second. <laughs> this motherfucker did give it out, dude. Fired. <laughs> did they fire him for real? Ah, they didn't say. They just you said. You should uh, promote that guy, dude. It was accidentally handed out, so uh, we do have Wink. to revoke. Well, I was like, oh, they should let him keep it, dude. I mean, those people probably get murdered soon anyway. Probably. They'd get knifed for their iPhones or whatever. <laughs> give me your yeah. Articuno. It's not that bad. Um, and uh, we got Final Fantasy 15 season pass if you guys care, dude. Um, a couple episodes are going to come with a season pass, holiday pack, booster pack, and then an expansion is what's in the $30 deal for you guys. Expansion can mean literally anything. Booster pack probably means like potions. Potions. Stat buffs. You're still excited for this game? There's been a lot yeah. of a big leak this week I saw, dude. Like tons of stuff coming out. I uh -oh. avoided it, and I'm avoiding it for you guys. You deserve better than that, dude. I will not leak Final Fantasy 15 information. That can come Sean from Amy, all of a she runs the show. Wait, why'd you leak No Man's Sky info then? Yeah, yeah. That's, the hell's that's wrong with you? Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy 15, I care way too much about. No Man's Sky, I, I'm excited for. But... You were just wiggling around in your chair about No Man's Sky. <laughs> I know, I was like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> remember, I, remember I had goosebumps? And at E3, you played the, the Final Fantasy VR demo. Yeah, and it wasn't a spoiler. It was the behemoth fight that you play in the demo. And it was a gun! Do you not remember how shitty that thing was? It was an unreal I just remember you left and you were just so sad that that was your I was VR so sad, dude. Gosh. I could I got that picture of you in the chair in the booth just like, oh man, life. I was hoping. I was like blacked out to the world. Like I couldn't see anything or touch anything. So I was just like, can this guy take this shit off of me? <laughs> it was depressing. Could you like tap out that you wanted to be done? You're like, stop, I'm done. And I, and I couldn't throw the controller down because he like fucking strapped it on me. So I was just like, Ugh. <laughs> The best was I was like in line to play that thing next, and like the Sony, yeah. the Sony guy came over. He's like, "I don't think you really wanted, you don't really want to play this." <laughs> so then Jason played that? ten foot robot or a hundred yeah. foot robot. Yeah, and we play a hundred foot robot, which was a million times better. I yeah. like that the guy actually told you, you didn't want to play their. their I mean, demo. he's probably like that's off the record, but now it is officially on the record that the Sony guy <laughs> told me how to play that. You just called this guy out. He's Nobody like, knows his name, know. dude. It was John. C. <laughs> Williams. E. <laughs> I apologize. All right. So, guys, we're just about out of here for the show. And uh, let's go run down what you guys are going to be up to this week. I know that, you know, top priority is probably going to be No Man's Sky for a few individuals here on Pokemon. the show. Pokemon Go. 
Pokemon Go hunting. Amy's birthday is tomorrow, everybody. Can what? I get a, Someone's can I get a turning 40. Uh, it's your birthday I'm too. Turning 30. <laughs> hey. Wow. A classy lady like 30. Yeah. Not a yeah, crooked. Change you. No I more, no so, more cat no. ears. Only drinking out. Oh of... god, I have to grow up now. I can't. No more plastic the clops. Water yeah, get that bottle shit out and of I can't that. have cat ears. And I can't be an Oompa Loompa anymore. You can oh, always dude. be an Oompa Loompa. I can't Oompa -Loompa. enjoy Star Wars apparently now that I'm gonna be 30 tomorrow. You have to I get rid of the chickens. My pets or my husband. I need to get. A... I have to get this tattoo like off of my arm. Like just get rid of it. Holy shit, 30 is a lot more intense than I anticipated. Damn, I know, right? How the hell did we survive it? <laughs> Didn't. Not the Game same changers, person. dude. Yeah. I actually skipped it. I think I went dark that year. Are you guys doing anything fun for this? The 30th? I feel like you have to do something insane. I don't care about like that kind of stuff. Why are you doing this right now? I don't have anything planned. He's you like know what, though? That birthday. is entirely false because before this, right before we recorded... Oh! Maybe we should do a birthday stream! Thanks! That's a good idea! We could stream something. What do you guys want to see? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Why? It's, your, it's her birthday. Yeah, do whatever you want on your birthday guess, yeah, that you don't really birthday. care about at all. <laughs> yeah, nobody's going to watch it anyways. People will watch your birthday stream, Amy. Hell yeah, they will, dude. Nobody's I'll still. watch it. I <laughs> won't even do it next oh, year. Oh, thanks. You should stream the whole day. Well, I have plans to go for a bike ride and or a run or something. I'm going to go buy some candles, birthday I think. Birthday stream. Birthday, birthday stream. stream. Why am I chanting for my own thing? Because <laughs> you're not excited about it. No, yeah, I think it'd be fun. If no, I think it'd be people, cool, too. If you guys watch it, maybe I'll do it, because otherwise I don't want to be talking to myself for like seven hours. That's no fun. And then and then maybe you can have somebody buy you a birthday game, and then you can play the birthday game. Actually, I have a Steam gift card. I was thinking of buying a, a new game some, tomorrow. Oh, I wonder Ooh. what you're going to buy. Oh, I watch. Thanks. They're so sweet. Yay! We got one! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but I don't know what game I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go on Steam. Maybe I can get some recommendations for people because it's an awesome gift card from Chad. So I'll see what uh, is on there. If there's anything that looks interesting, maybe I'll buy it. Or if people have recommended Mortal Kombat, Agreed. I have Mortal Kombat. I could stream already that. Already got it, dude. Yeah, I already we own it. should fight in Mortal Kombat. I'll I'll be, I'll get on there and I'll just I won't I'll let you win. It's your birthday. I'll pull a Chad. <laughs> Are you wait? Are you oh, pulling a versus? Uh, I think I would keep your ball? ass, actually. No, this is like a versus you versus Tristan in. I think it was Mortal Kombat, where you let Tristan win. Let and Tristan win. knew you yeah. let him win. <laughs> he could tell. He could feel it. He's like, I think Chad just let me win. I think it was honest recording. <laughs> yep. We have that, and that was pretty great. <laughs> because his controller was unplugged and it was a timed out match, and I accidentally hit myself. <laughs> oh, you're so mean to poor Tristan. <laughs> Tristan, dude, Tristan can put up a fight Tristan, in Mortal Kombat. they're mean to him. Like, Jason destroys him in Techno Bowl, and Chad claims that he lets him win. And, like, you guys I don't think I brother. ever said that. Officially. I feel like Tristan would beat me in, like, some baseball. If we played a baseball game, Tristan would kill me. Play some show. Yeah. Like, we only challenge Tristan outside of his element. Yeah, I only play Tristan in games like we talked about earlier where I know I'm going to win. Like, obviously. I don't want to lose. Have bad. you ever seen me challenge him in, in uh, Titanfall? No. I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh my god no joke did you see that they 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 sold like seven million copies of that game they're expected to do like nine or something of the new one that's crazy yeah they're looking at doing nine million for uh titanfall 2 and 15 million for battlefield 1 so dude that is optimistic as fuck dude 15 million and they're saying that they're lowballing that ain't a low you ball. know it's hitting three platforms it's hitting everything i don't know 15 million for that game seems high it looks pretty cool but there's a lot of competition this holiday it's thick, dude. We'll see what we'll Tristan's see what going straight Titanfall, I'm assuming. Of course. Tristan, what do you got going on this weekend, man? What should people be looking out for, dude? Uh, Suicide Squad review? Finish. Oh, uh, yeah, probably catch that this weekend and finish up the Batman Telltale and try and catch some more Pokemon without using my map. You know, the usual. Don't be a. F yeah, just another day of not cheating in Pokemon nope. because they don't offer it any longer. Uh, you could, if you do want to cheat, you can uh, try out uh, Smart Pokey 2 is a nice cheat app for your phone. I'm giving it Wait. out there. Wait, does that actually work? Yeah, it actually exists. Um, Jason, what do you got going on this weekend, man? <laughs> I want to hear more about this, this Pokey thing. Whoa, whoa, dude. I, I don't want everyone downloading it right now, dude. It's only got uh, 1,000 downloads, and it works like a fucking charm. Is it the so, exact same thing as Pokevision? Uh, except it, like, always works. It just it runs in the background, so your app is running, and that's running. 
and it tracks you where you're going, like on, on your map and stuff. But don't worry about so it. So is it through a browser or is it an actual app? But you can't. So it only works around you. You can't like select other spots to see what's out there. But it at least gives you an idea that you know which direction you should probably be fucking running in. Because I ain't got four hours to sit out in the woods. Yeah. And try and find at least I have an idea. There's another one called Compass that only just tells you which direction you should go to find dude, the next. Dude, you know all about the Pokemon Go cheats. I think it's hilarious. I'm here for you guys, dude. I, I do think my you're here for yourself, game. dude. Yeah, you, and for me. You think so, the block the party has gotten where it's sense. gotten without knowledge, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, if we didn't have Pokemon Go, we wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> All right, Jason, what do you got going on besides downloading a bunch of apps for your phone? Um, well, I'm going to take, like, <laughs> I'm obviously going to read up on basic biology and chicken and anatomy. That's, like, the first thing I need to do when they Don't stop get caught streaming. doing that, though. Don't get caught doing that because it could become out of context and you might be sleeping on the road. Oh. How is that going to become out of context? Well, when you got giant chicken parts blown up on your screen at 1080p. This chicken yeah. laid this egg. It came out of her butt. Don't put it back in. Actually, put it back in. I like how she squeaked. She's like, don't. <laughs> that chicken is like, come on, man. Just try to cool. sleep Be fucking me. cool for like five <laughs> seconds, mom. Um, try to fucking sleep over here. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to play. I'm going to do the continue my rise to iron on Destiny. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm hey, going to check out this Overwatch, Overwatch stuff. And I so might try to stream some Batman. I think those are... I think that's enough games to put in, and obviously No Man's Sky before we come back on. It's like yes, dude, absolutely. A GD dude. given. Yeah, I'll be running a huge uh, No Man's Sky. Do starting at six o'clock Central Time on uh, Tuesday, all the way until Wednesday morning if I can make it. But I, I doubt I can last that long. But feel free to join us, dude. Amy will be there, cheering us on, or joining us, playing a game alongside us. We'll see. I don't know if she's so going to be sleeping in on it. that couch back there. I'll yeah. be crying, sad, sad tears. Yes, she will be. She always does. Oh, Death Road to Canada. If you guys haven't checked it out, dude, it's on the PC. We got our hands on that, so we'll be playing that this weekend. Apparently, it works on my computer now. We'll, we'll see. If Have you told them. Amy about Death Road to Canada yet? Yes, she uh, sat there for a good three hours listening to the amazing soundtrack while I tried to fix it. Is the but, soundtrack actually pretty good or no? Uh, it, there's like Their opening song is pretty awesome for like uh, retro music. Yeah, you should make sure to go into the character creator and make sure you are in there and Amy's in there and like like make sure the whole crew's in there because you're like Swinger's randomly... in there. Is he in there? Yeah. Okay, so you like randomly come across these people. It's like it's I think it's gonna be awesome. Tristan's in there. He loves animals. I think is what Aww. his trade is. I'm gonna have to add I his love dog animals in there now. more than Tristan loves animals. I think I made you a psychopath or okay. something, Amy. Me? Like, yeah, or bipolar yes! or something. I forgot That's what it was. That's crazy because I almost said I could see that, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for the block party this week thank you guys so much for joining us and hanging out make sure you subscribe check us out on youtube.com as well we got tons of videos up there for you guys uh we'll be streaming all weekend long so hang in there join us for some raids if you want in you destiny guys, or death road to canada i what time should my they're asking what time my birthday stream should be tomorrow but i don't know Let's see, Amy's got a hot date in the morning with uh, egg breakfast she's making herself because it's her You're birthday. You're going to eat that egg for breakfast? Yeah, uh, the holy fuck. Then she's yeah, got a bike out. ride. Why is that gross? You buy eggs from the grocery store? She's got if a new my cat bike, laid an egg, I wouldn't new eat bike it. toys. New bike toys to attach to her bike, so she's going for a bike ride. I'm thinking probably like 3 o'clock central time. I'm thinking but, she could... Well, what about subscribe you? Subscribe and you won't miss you it. You have to so, set up all this stuff because I don't know how this um, works. I won't be back from uh, working on the space shuttle Atlantis until about 4.30. So when I get back from uh, working on a, the space shuttle top secret project that I work on, um, that's my job. I'm an astronaut. Um, when I get back from that. You sound like uh, a goddamn crazy person right now. Yes, for the he is insane. <laughs> he is insane. Like, you're so... you're <laughs> way too straight Like when you're saying that. It's not true at all. You don't work for the space station. <laughs> Maybe so then we can eat, and then maybe we should stream as like six, six central. Okay, I don't know. Are you gonna be? I don't know if you have secret plans or something, Chad. Wow, you guys are really overthinking this. Amy will be on at six o'clock central time tomorrow. Yay! There Just subscribe to the channel and you won't miss yeah. it. Yeah, there you you we'll we'll shoot out an email, dude. Check our Twitter, dude. We'll tweet about it tomorrow once we figure it out. Right. Happy birthday song as I fade away. Thank you guys. Oompa so loompa. Thank <laughs> you so much for joining us. Do. We'll see you guys next Hi, week. We'll see you guys this weekend. Alexandav.com. Later, guys. Later, everybody.
Bye.